why. That's the, that's the. This is, I guess, right now, standard cardboard. This big. So that's how wide I can make it with one sheet. But you can always connect sheets somehow and make a larger one. Say, Tina, is there a proportional relationship between the width and the height? Well, actually, um, this one has, yeah, I can talk about that. This one has, you can tell, there's equal, these pieces are equal lengths, you can tell. But for this one, for example, I changed it up because you can play with the dimensions. So this piece on the top is shorter than these two, making it a taller unit. So you can always like work with the geometry and make different forms. Because it's based on this one side of the cardboard is what, four by eight? The largest is 10. By? So you see, so you see a piece of cardboard, it's 10 feet high by four feet wide. Everybody got a sense of what that is? Like, like you know your front door is three feet wide and it's only about seven feet high, so it's a little bigger than, bigger than that scale. Have you ever tested it out? Uh, what do you mean? We've actually slept in it. We slept in it last weekend. There was an event in Venice. It was actually me and my colleagues here. We slept in And we also had someone else sleep in another unit and she told us that it, it was so hot and it was a cold night and it was so hot inside that she had to take off her jacket. Like she was really comfortable. Yes, Sky. It doesn't seem that comfortable. So did you put something under it? Well, yeah, you would need to have like a sleeping bag or something like cushiony under it because it's just a layer of cardboard. But the idea is to have like an enclosed space that would protect you from the elements. Is that a stretch? Or are you, you just stretch it? Okay. out it flattens, right? So it, you don't have to actually rest on the white, the bumpy. Yeah. Yeah, it flattens out and then 